Now, Hyflux has eight bidders for its Tuas Spring Integrated Water and Power Plant. And it is also in talks with 19 interested parties to secure rescue financing of up to 200 million Singapore dollars. Hyflux gave this update on the same day it had its first town hall meetings with investors today. It is the first time they're meeting with Hyflux's CEO, Olivia Lum, and her management team since the firm announced it was seeking court protection to reorganize its debt nearly two months ago. Brandon Tanocho with more. Now I'm here at the Kai Flux building in Kalang Baru and this is where the town hall meetings are being held at. Now we were not able to film any of these meetings or inside the building due to management and restriction issues. But I was able to speak to a couple of stakeholders that were present at the meeting and they told me that whatever was being presented during the town hall meetings wasn't something that they don't already know. Now that's because the information that was being presented was already made public via the company's filings to the Singapore exchange as well as through the news that are being reported by various media outlets. Now these stakeholders also told me that they were expecting a little bit more clarity on the company's restructuring plans but that was barely provided. But it's obvious why the restructuring plans were not made clearer to the public and stakeholders yet. That's because of the non-disclosure agreements Hyflux is bound by. Plus, as it stands now, Hyflux will have to appear before the Singaporean High Court in August at a three-month mark of its six-month moratorium to provide an update on its reorganisation process. So until then, much of this information would be kept confidential. But experts say it's timely for Hyflux to engage its retail investors. Ultimately, I think high floods will also have to continue to assure the bondholders and in particular the shareholders because you know, they, they are also concerned about the market value of their share eventually. And even, even though it's not traded now, you know, uh, eventually if it goes back to the market, you know, that, that confidence building uh, now would be very, very important. In fact, the Securities Investors Association of Singapore, or SIAS, which organised these meetings, confirmed that there will be more of them going forward to address the concerns of all investors. So largely about restructuring. Will I get back my money? You know, my, will I get value? How long will it take? Is there an investor on the scene? You know, who is that? So they can't reveal details, but they can only say that we are working to recover value for you. Sias has been urging from the beginning the company to do so and Olivia Lam readily said that I want to treat all investors equally and I want to update them and keep assuring them what we are doing. In the meantime, Hyflux's largest secured lender, Maybank, has given the firm until October 15 to find a buyer for its underperforming Tuas Spring integrated water and power plant.